to Susan Lear of Signing Off. I'm your host, Cam Martin. After years of marching and praying, it's time to take the sin out of Signing Off with our best episode theme yet, Religion. So you get nice and neutral. We have the Holy Trinity of Sketches for you and them today. So, marriage, if I may. Hey, no, it's science. We told you this. God, is this a test? Should I fight? Is it my time to lead a crusade? It's your time to get off the stage, dude. And ascend into the great heavens above. Hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to Signing Off Season 3. This episode's theme is science, the pursuit of fact and truth. Speaking of fact and truth, I lied and I'm a liar. But I'm not just a liar. I'm a chemistry major too. And I have three exams tomorrow, but I won't be able to study resonance structures until I get this off my chest. After, after over a decade in the scientific community, I must come forward with some troubling information about one of my earliest scientific endeavors. I built my career on the columns of falsehood. I've been concealing the truth behind a peanut shell of fabrication. There I was, eating peanuts with shells, because I like a challenge. The science fair was only two hours away. I'm no baking soda volcano kid. I wanted something bigger, better, burned. Finding the lighter on top of the fridge was surprisingly easy. I took a peanut in one hand, a lighter in the other, and I asked myself a question, the question. Will the peanut burn? My hypothesis? Yes. After strenuous testing of a singular peanut, the research team of one came to a unanimous conclusion. No, it doesn't. Now here's where things get a little nutty. I put pen to paper and I wrote, yes, yes they burn. Just like my soul will burn in hell for lying about fabricated data. I can save you. We have a book for that. And the judges believed me. My lies earned me second place in the science fair. As the weight of my silver medal weighed on my conscience, I knew I'd just gone too far. And I lost the gold medal to a baking soda volcano kid. Whew, that feels good. But there's a lot more to science than peanuts. We'll show you what else there is in this episode, so stick around. Hello, I'd like to personally welcome you to the Musk Time Travel Agency. We specialize in time travel and trips to Milwaukee. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us. We've been looking forward to this trip for years. Since time travel technology was first patented. Oh, it's still not, but we're happy to have you. We just have few formalities to get out of the way. <laughs> yes, of course. Since this is a fairly new discovery, there are some kinks that we have yet to work out. <laughs> well, marriage is all about spicing things up. <laughs> <laughs> some side effects include... Uh, having your legs shoot up directly into your eyes. The voice of your mother-in-law stays in your head forever. You have bees in your ears. Your tongue is always a little bit burnt. You feel like you're about to sneeze all the time. You can never finish a yawn. All music sounds like the cranberries. Ketchup tastes like mustard. Mustard tastes like mayo. We're not too sure how that one happened. Uh, you become half an inch shorter. You start craving crack, even if you've never had it before. But, uh... I don't know what you guys are into. Um, <laughs> and uh, of course, death. <laughs> so just uh, sign here, sign here, initial there. Oh, and a drop of blood there. <gasps> awesome, let's get started. <laughs> Have you two given any thought to when you'd like to visit? Um, we're actually not too sure. Oh, oh, oh. perfect. Ooh. Look at this. Oh. Ooh. How about the 50s? Mm. Uh, I don't think that would be too good for me. Hmm. Right. Right. Racism. Yeah. All right. How about the Roaring Twenties? Oh, that might be, might be a little packed. How about the 30s? Oh, the Great Depression! <laughs> Still racist. Mm. I got it. The 1700s. No. No. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Uh, what about the future? Ooh, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, we could try that. Oh, great. One second. Just put these on and you will be transported to a world unlike ours, a world of Progress and mystery. <laughs> Safe travels, comrades. 
That was insane. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Why was it so hot? I didn't believe in climate change before, but... Starburst lost their color. How did that happen? The red wiggle was me too oh, Saw that coming from a mile away. Why do the babies have beards? Well, I'm glad you two had fun, and most importantly, you're still alive. That was morbid. Uh, how far in the future did you send us? Two years. What? what? Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and an even greater future, but that's not likely. <clears throat> we should have gone to Milwaukee. I want crack. We've got a very special guest today, everyone. A modern scientific juggernaut, TRX artificial intelligence expert, Jabari. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. And we're even happier that you brought your guest with you. Yep, I brought along with me 800-813, or as I like to call him, Bobby. It's a kind of computer intelligence capable of solving quantum arithmetic equations. They're actually faster than any software that's available to consumers right now. That is incredible. I'm just so excited that we have 800-813 here today. But this isn't Bobby's first time on television. No, sir. He was actually the winner of season one of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? He was actually technically in the first grade at the time. That is incredible. I didn't think I'd be as starstruck as I am right now. Thank you, Robert. I'm thrilled to be here tonight. This is incredible. So does this little star do anything else to knock my pants off? Sure. With a simple mobile connection like this, you get the smartest mind on the planet. So we knew you and Bobby were coming today, so we prepared some questions. By all means. Give us your best shot, Robert. First question. Shostakovich's Symphony No. 7 is a musical tribute to which battle of World War II? Leningrad. Second question. What is the largest country in the world without any permanent natural rivers or lakes? Saudi Arabia. Also correct. Now this one's a tricky one. Where in the human body would you find the medulla oblongata? Jabari, you're scheduled for your fourth poop of the day in seven minutes. Please be sure to stay regular. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, <laughs> uh, that must be some sort of data analysis isolation problem. It is not. It is a digestive problem, likely caused by poor diet. Uh, just give it a second. This, this usually doesn't happen. Instagram. My memory indicates that you have spent an average of 20 hours a week monitoring the profile of at Jennifer underscore 96. I did not ask it about that. <laughs> okay, that is enough. Get it together. Reading direct messages with at Jennifer underscore 96. Jabari. Hey, you up? Seen at 2.51 a.m. Jabari. Please respond. I miss you. At Jennifer underscore 96. Seen at 4.29 a.m. Jabari. There's no point in blocking me again. I'll just create another account. Message not received. I think at Jennifer underscore 96 did in fact block you. Should I automatically create a new profile for you? No! Turn off all systems. Okay. Opening YouTube history. How to seem approachable to women. Kissing for newbies. Don't stop the party. Pitbull. The Mayo. Bikini girls. And that's why they say you should never meet your heroes.
congratulations on being hired and joining the T-Rex pharmaceutical family. In today's video, we will be going over three important aspects of lab safety. First comes lab hygiene. You want to make sure you come in smelling fresh and clean out of respect for the people working with you. Like any good scientist, it's important to have a hygienic morning routine, like a nice shower. Observe how our set of scientists are happy because they both took proper hygienic care before coming into the lab. Now see how neglecting to stay clean can negatively affect your constituent in the lab. Now that you've seen the importance of good hygiene, don't forget to brush your teeth, wash your hands, and wear clean clothes. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. Now that you're squeaky clean and smelling fresh, it's time to go to work. But not so fast, young chemists. We still have to discuss good behavior in the lab. Hi, can you please pass me that? Say please and thank you. Thank you. It's important to always make good eye contact with your coworkers. Oh, I'm sorry, let you take the lead. Thank you. Break the glass ceiling and dismantle patriarchal oppression. And finally, always show support to your lab partner. Working in the lab, you're likely to come across a lot of unforeseen mishaps. It's important to maintain your decorum. If you don't believe me, here are a few unfortunate souls who did not listen to my advice. I forgot to zipper up my pants before walking into the lab, and now I'm impotent. <laughs> <laughs> this scientist saw something he knew he should not touch. He ignored the safety label and now lives out his life as an infant. Now you're ready to get to work, but I almost forgot the most important thing. <laughs> Na, na, la lu, la fe, fe, I found you. Hi, right, buddy. Can I help you? <laughs> I always forget how handsome I am. Are you trying to sell me something? Come on, C3745. You crack me up. All right, on the count of three, say the name of your favorite ice cream. One, two, three, Ben & Jerry's Urban Bourbon. What? Hmm, you don't remember. Must be faulty recall calibration. Um... Let me break it down for you. You is me. I clone you, you escape, I find you here. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you stupid clone, we're freaking identical. We got the same hair, the same musk, the same complexion. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sure. Look, I gotta go. But you have a good day. What are you You're doing? doing? <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda. Just kidding. Uh, how about we go to lunch and recalibrate? I... Hi, how are you guys today? No, we're not twins. He's my clone, actually. <laughs> okay, can I get you clone something to drink? Uh, a Coke. Coke Zero. A Coke Zero. Hey man, be honest. Did Jay put you up to this? Oh, cloney. Like, are you okay? Is there someone I should call or like... This is clone DNA if I've ever smelled it. The same. All right, that's, yep, um, okay. Um, I gotta go. 
Oh, you. Wait, you just. Wait, where are you? Goodbye. Look. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Now, if we're following the scientific method, we've about reached our conclusion. My hypothesis was proven correct. This episode was about science. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm Rob Onios, signing off. <laughs>